Welcome to another Ramble Rants and Drives. It's me, Fool again here, with Misty the Penguin, Tiny Tim, and a new guest. Go ahead and say your name. I'm Art. Everybody, meet Art. We're going to be discussing Hi, Japanese Art. culture. Watashi wa desu desu. I guess Art's going to start us off. <laughs> hey, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm a quarter, and, you know, being a anime, like, in, well, what, fanatic, I guess? Like, or a taku at that yeah. point? Like... You, you, t- you tend to, like, learn a few things about their culture and language. So you're a quarter Japanese. Yes, I am. And then what's the rest of you? Filipino. So 75% Filipino, quarter Japanese. Yes, I am. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. He looks Mexican, in case you were On the wondering. mom's side, who's more dominant than the other? My dad is half Japanese. Makes more huh. sense. He I lost see. the battle. He lost the battle. He like a real honor. war. Like, <laughs> he went dishonored? <laughs> Only only twenty five percent. I mean, that's why, like you know, Japan's no longer in the Philippines anymore. Like, yeah. what does that equal? You lose both your pinkies or something like that? I don't he, know. He's, Maybe the he's digit. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys want to discuss about the Japanese culture? Like, I know the anime side of it. That's pretty much it. Like, probably Art over here could tell us more about the other side, like the way they live and everything. Well, uh, do you have a... I was just going to say, you would know a lot about it because just like here, if it's not a super like strange cartoon, if it's an American cartoon, we put some of our culture in it too. So same thing with an anime. I don't think any American cartoons are actually like really what America's about. There was one, what was the one anime that actually was American? Oh, Hero Man. Hero Man. Yeah, okay. Hero yeah, Man yeah. was like the only oh one God. that was Americanized so far-fetched, but still had its own quirky Japanese culture to it, but it was still Americanized. It was kind of interesting. Actually, uh, speaking of uh, Americanized anime, uh, there's a old anime, like way old, 90s. Like mm-hmm. It's called Ghost Stories. And yeah, like if you know about this, like if to those who's listening and like to you guys, it pretty much is like when it first came out in Japan, it was a total bust. Like, yeah. The Japanese sub, I mean, no, the English sub, not even that good. So when they gave it to an American company, it said pretty much you yeah, have free reign, do whatever you can to make it good. So like one company, what they decided to do was like let's pretty much make it a parody and. Literally, there's, like, one girl, like, she has purple hair. She's pretty much what I call the Jehovah's Witness girl. Because, like, (laughs) her lines, like, for every opening she starts and every closing, oh, I hope you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I just don't want you to go, like, go to hell. (laughs) (laughs) So, basically, they hired a bunch of fooligans and made this thing good. (laughs) Yes. Okay, cool. And, like, they're all from, like, you know, they all worked in, like, prominent shows, like, Kenichi, like, The Mighty's Disciple and all that other, like, English-dubbed anime. Mm-hmm. They all worked on it, and they came down here. Yeah. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, how did they not get fired or, like, get <laughs> forgotten in time? <laughs> like, literally, no, like, okay, so... They like, came from here, and they got this big. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, literally just little kids, like, uh, acting all scared. I'm gonna guess in the Japanese sub, like, it's, like, completely, like, something else. I mean, J- Japanese dub, something else. But in the show, he's crying. The boy's response, this dude is, like, maybe 12 years old. His response Says, are you retarded? Like, <laughs> and his sister is right there. Like, uh, yeah, he he possibly is retarded. Like, like, <laughs> it, was, it was good. Uh, we're watching it. All right. to it so. uh, maybe a way to start us off because, like I said, I do not know a lot about the Japanese culture. Why don't we all go around and say what our favorite animes are? I'll start start off and say, Kinchi the uh, Kenichi. Uh, Kenichi. Not it's Kenichi. Kenichi. It's Kenichi. It's Kenichi. Okay. Like, Ke- How, however I. you want to pronounce it. You're arguing with the Asian. You're arguing? Arguing? <laughs> arguing? Yeah, arguing? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but History's Greatest Disciple, Say that's back. my favorite anime. Like, it was just so good. It was like, it was lighthearted, but at the same time, it wasn't, you know? Like, they caught it perfectly. I mean... Like, good point, but I swear to God, you, you better pray to God there's no, like, hardcore taku there, because you already messed up the title twice. Twice. Not even Kenji, but you said the history's greatest. It's history's mightiest. It, okay, <laughs> I watched the dubbed, and that's what it was on there. Sometimes, uh, it, oh, it, it depends like, on the website, they'll, they'll smartify oh, okay, shit. Like, so I'm like, all right, yeah, right. I, I was going to say, but, like, I know, but... When you said you want to talk about Japanese culture, I just love the fact you went straight into anime. It's like that's <laughs> that's like saying, oh, let's talk about American culture. Let's talk about strippers and shotguns. <laughs> in my and defense, Walmart, yeah, yeah. Walmart. Yeah. In my defense, that is my life, and oh, I only my. know anime about Japanese people. <laughs> All right, granted, granted. Like when a girl says, "Oh, I'm Japanese," I'm like, so you wear little skirts and cover your panties whenever the air, like whenever a wind, a gust of wind comes by. I'm gonna guess you never got laid by an Asian woman. If I have not. That's your opening line. I have not. To a Japanese I am proud girl. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Yeah. That's, why, that's why he is full again, because he just says whatever goes. And hits the name, he has no filter. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could tell. Like, so, yeah, this is how we all got started. <laughs> I mean, very modest beginnings, I'll, I'll give it that. But I mean, like, I feel We're, like none, none of us are ever going to be, like, in politics, by the yeah, way. Good, yeah, good point. Good, good, idea. good idea. Good idea. Yeah, <laughs> like, we have like, days nuts. Yeah. But I mean, like, we uh, haven't run for office. This is getting shut down so fast. <laughs> I mean, so far, like, I've been talking about, like, you know, anime. Like, what do you think of Japanese culture? Besides, like, I'm going to go back to you later on, but I want, I want okay. you to hear what's going on. putting the bottle cap in there now. <laughs> you, you want to talk about the actual Japanese culture? Yeah, based on because, what you um, said. Like, okay, I don't know if you, if you want to talk about the anime and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, some, some of the things there that. Like, no, <laughs> no. Um, I'm just looking at the sound volume. That's all. Um, no problem. Uh, I, I like about it is that uh, the way because I've been watching people vlog and they were on a trip down over into Japan and stuff like that. And I like to like, be there to experience what they do. Um, one of them is that uh, through like the subways and the trains and stuff like that. Um, no. Uh, so what it was that uh, like the culture is that when you get off the train, uh, yeah, yeah. everybody is fast paced moving and they know where they're going and they get out of your way when they need to and there's no stopping and staring and so that they just move, they just hustle and hustle and hustle and it's just it's just one of those concepts I, I actually like about that and there's a lot of other perks too like uh one one in, in japan is when you have like ramen or something like that and if you're not slurping your ramen it's an insult to the chef it's an insult to the restaurant that you do not uh it's, it, it's actually true it's one of the things that they well, said I, I never knew that i always thought it was just like more like a little joke that started off and then became like kind of a trope like you know Every girl, like, apparently has... Oh, well, in the anime universe, like, you know, yeah. every girl has big tits. Well, that's not really the case in real life. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was, like, so a that, um, And then that, and, like, watching that, like, you know, with the, compared to anime and to, uh, and their culture and all that is that, um, the people have the school uniforms, and that's actually almost pretty much 100% accurate. Um, not to a certain degree of, like, t you know, tiny skirts and stuff like that. Probably not to that extent, but they still have skirts. The pattern. Like, the, 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 yeah, the pattern and the, and the, and the well, style of it. Actually, there. going on to that uh, school uniform, I actually got really curious. It's like, every time they have, like, a school-esque anime, whenever they do gym clothing, girls, like, you, they pretty much look like they're just wearing panties while working out, while dudes, they have, like, shorts. Yeah. And I was like, yes, I get it. You have to keep it short to, like, give give yourself more mobility, but I was very curious if girls actually wore anything that short. Like, I already knew, like, the answer was gonna be no, and, you know, the answer was no, mm -hmm. but surprisingly enough, it, there was a uniform that I saw that was somewhat small, but it didn't last too long. It was, like, like around, what, the 90s or something. Okay. Yeah, before. Probably when anime got popular, and they were like, oh, we're just gonna stick with this, because... Of course, pervy guys are gonna want to see girls in gym clothes that are really just tiny. Or mm -hmm. it's easy to draw. Like I mean, yeah. I've drawn a lot of anime women. It's let's so see. Easy let's to draw, draw. and this hemline is right there, and this is where the leg is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like the whole process of just putting clothes on a person, just like it's too much. Like might as well just slap a panty right there. Like, yeah, <laughs> slap a panty. Or even better, like I, I find it funny and kind of just I don't know why I do, but I find it awesome. Why is your ed your eye red? Which one? Your left one. You get punched. No. One punch man. Or it's like it's like yeah, the outside of it. Yeah, it's oh, like, I was I was doing this a little while ago earlier. Oh, okay. So maybe it was I don't know. Um Anyways, what were you saying? Drugs. Uh Dang apparently it, took a stripper. Um <laughs> No, I uh, feel good. What I was saying is um in animes, whenever it's like one of those sketchy scenes and that American censors always put up, <laughs> I always like how either like a straight bag or a piece of paper or like a blinding white light. A blinding white light. Yeah, blinding white light the sun light. Well, it comes out of freaking nowhere. Like I was on I was on YouTube and I found uh, like top ten funniest moments in anime. And there was a scene where this girl was literally about to sit on the toilet. She's got she's got her thumbs in her panties, about to pull it down, her skirts up, and a guy walks in and is like, uh and then it does a backward shot and they're in a freaking toilet and all of a sudden there's a beam of light going like that. <laughs> right over the panties. I'm like what the hell? <laughs> Actually, a uh, funny... Put toilet paper. Put the back of the toilet. Put something there, but, like, a beam of light. Okay. Actually, funny you should mention that. Um, that I think, well, a lot of animators are starting to become self-aware that the, what was supposed to be censorship is starting to become a joke. Because mm -hmm. there's an anime called Hyperdimension Neptunia. It came out a few years ago. And, honestly, it's pretty much a waifu simulator. And all the main cast characters are girls. They turn into, like, this beautiful form where they're, like showing a lot of skin but that's beyond the point there was like a episode where they called r plus 18 island where it's supposed to be a resort but like you know r plus 18 it means restricted for 18 and older 
And one scene was they what's it called this girl one of the girl I mean girls they took off their clothes and blinding white light just coming just came out of nowhere and the younger sister like well the first part was like it started blocking out subtitles so it's really hard to read hate that that's yeah, why I hate it yeah but um the younger sister starts asking wait what the hell is that blinding white light <laughs> oh it's like censorship like to make sure the young viewers don't get their eyes stained like they're becoming self aware so it's like fourth wall kind of stuff yeah yeah, 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 yeah like, breaking the fourth they're wall becoming self aware and but like the funny part was it was a prank it was actually a, a, a allusion to that she actually had clothes on the whole time but when a y- younger sister stripped she was butt ass naked and <laughs> I mean, it was pretty funny, not gonna lie, but, I mean, the white light, though, is still annoying. <laughs> oh, it's hell is annoying. It's, I, I like that, or, like, they, they, they do that type of censoring, or they do the provocative style of uh, innuendos, stuff like that. Oh it's like, when they, when they have, like, the group going on the beach, like, oh, look at the sea cucumber, and it'd be the girl holding it, and it'd be, like, oh, this big, and it's, and like... Yeah, no, 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 it's, like, it's just like it's like it starts moving or whatever and she squeezes it too hard and like the, apparently like, the guts to come out but it's yeah. like all white and it's all over, all over. yeah another one was uh, that I was watching again funniest and most inappropriate scenes was um a girl couldn't use her hands and wanted to get a lollipop or um uh dang it freezy pop <gasps> and the guy was holding it and is like wait a minute okay Does here you go have wings blue wings maybe blue hair I, I can't was, was he yes. like, was yes, he like in hair. a park yes that's monster was Sume. okay that you should check out the anime I, should, like, I definitely want to check oh him out God. just for the funny scenes but <laughs> basically he just holds it still at his thigh level and she just starts going and all of a sudden there's sweat lines like making veins and crap <laughs> and the guy there was like why the hell is there a vein on that? <laughs> Why is she getting so excited with that? She's getting red. <laughs> oh, shit. <Yeah>, like, <laughs> it's like, uh, this is a pop, freezy pop, dude. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, the story for that was, like, um, she's a bird brain. Like, her species, she, like, what she is is a harpy. Like, in the anime, like, mythical creatures exist in that world. And her species is a harpy, so they gave her, like, bird, like, characteristics. And one of them was bird brain, as a joke. And apparently, a little thing about her is, like, every three steps... Like she would forget on what was just happening, and she's usually stupid. So like when she was eating the popsicle, she had no common sense that this looks like he, she's sucking his dick. Yeah. <laughs> but like in her opinion, he, it was she, he was helping her eat because the last time he she tried to hold something, it was like a big cone of ice cream. It ended up like falling on the ground and wasting, it, and she got really sad. So she just yeah, yeah, it, it showed right. content of it, but then it was just like, why does that freezy pop have a vein? <laughs> why is he getting frothy like that? <laughs> yeah, like. And the yeah. only reason I could come up with is. is because it's anime. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but going back to the Japanese culture thing, I think it's Yeah, like, we're I, way I, off if, if, it, if it's gonna be anime, like, let's talk about it later, but, like, like let's just finish yeah. up the Japanese culture. Like, mm-hmm. like what, was, what would be your input on that one, like? Japanese like, culture. Um, I have more, more... Mm, you just like the food. I, I do like the food. Sushi. Um, <laughs> the only really culture I've been introduced to is when I went to Katsukon and we did the Maid Cafe. Oh, yes. Like... And I, I thought that was a, an interesting twist on a cafe version, because usually the servers are like dicks and <laughs> bitches, but um, I'm working up food and you're a dick, yeah, and the girls bitch. are bitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he says okay. girls are bitches. Like, <laughs> okay. So, I mean, okay. I've met girls that are... I'll like, admit, I, I do find ways to be a dick to the, to the customers. Like, it just, it's it entertains me because I get so bored at work. And I mean, I'm not faulting you guys for that, it's just saying that... Usually people nowadays, if you go to a fast food, they just don't care. I mean, you do know made cafes are made for pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I know, like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, is that's what yeah. I liked about. Pleasure. Wrong type of pleasure, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> you mean the pleasure? If you can only see the, what he's doing right now. I know, right? Like, it's even more disturbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. But, uh... <laughs> we need to put a camera on food. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no face. Japanese culture. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of surprised you guys don't really notice, but, uh, I read a topic about this a few years ago. Was that on Reddit? No, it was not. Well, possibly. Because <laughs> <laughs> you see, it goes back to 4chan, then Reddit, and it just breaks yeah, it out. No, uh, it possibly was on Reddit, but I found it on an actual, like, what's it called, website, a survey done on, like, Japanese culture <clears> itself, <throat> on how a kind of re- reverse, like, a reverse cycle is going on between the males and the females. Like, mm-hmm. males. Like they describe as if you're carnivorous, you're like active sports going, like you're physical, like mm-hmm. everything that what we imagine a man to be. In the original sense, not the like gay ass, oh, words can hurt a man or some shit like that. I don't give a fuck. Like you're, you're supposed to be strong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like men over there are starting to become more herbivores. Like they're becoming more feminine. They're growing out their hair. They're using more beauty products. They're becoming soft. While women, they're actually participating in more sports, physical sports, and actually trying to be more sought out. So like there's a re- reverse role into it. 
So mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of surprised you didn't discuss that, or, or I don't know if you actually knew about that. I honestly didn't uh, know that part. I, 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 if I would have had to take a look at it, I probably would have catch on to it. But like some of the vlogging and stuff like that, I... the scene from other YouTubers and other people and stuff like that, and I can understand that this day and age, yes, this current uh, generation, I can see that being it. I actually um, had heard something about game, that. Game. I don't really know what to think. Yeah. Like, if I was a guy, and like, I'm completely like, <laughs> I'm completely like comfortable with like, I'm not the most athletic guy in the world. Like, I enjoy dressing in fancy clothes and like, I do my hair right and everything. But I don't know Justin if I Bieber. would. <laughs> I do not look like Justin Bieber. Yes, you do. Um, especially with your hair long, you look like okay, Justin just, Bieber. Just, Let's stop Those leather about jackets and the tight right, pants let's and the shoes. Like, in, 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 like innocent Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah the innocent, innocent version. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, I don't know if I could date a girl that was like super athletic. Like, I, no, if a girl was okay. athletic, I would be like, yeah, I can date you. But if she was like, oh, I'm actually stronger than you, I would be like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, so, so, so you don't want thunder thighs coming after? I don't want thunder thighs. <laughs> I can just see him getting a girl my size. <laughs> oh my god! So, like, what you don't want to go to the movies? Well, I'm picking you up and taking you anyway. <laughs> see, I mean, like, I have the same point of view. Yes, I would not like a girl that's like very physically fit. But at the same time, like, I mean, if you're physically fit, you're taking care of your body. That's mm -hmm. I can appreciate. And let's say we get into bed, like shit, like <laughs> let's do some wrestling now, like like get some four. She throws WWE. you up against the wall instead of the other way around. And you're oh like, boy, no, no, no. <laughs> like, here's like, the thing. I do not find girls with defined abs attractive whatsoever. Well, we said, no, 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 hold on. Are we talking defined abs or like actually like you can count the uh, the how both, many? Both, both. defined or you can count their their abs. I don't like either one. I'm like I like a girl that like honestly I don't even need the skinniest girl in the world. Just don't be like. You just want a flat belly. Weights. You want to be a flat. You want a flat belly. Like, or... Yeah, pretty much. Like I'm like I don't want them super like defined and like super athletic, and I don't want them overweight either. Like I just want them in between. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean like I mean well my opinion though I still kind of like that little like yeah line the goes line goes down yeah yeah like four is like kind of overstretching but if I can see six packs like ah uh, we're gonna have a problem here yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have a problem either you get me on your regiment so I can join you or <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have tops. where do I start yeah right yeah, where do I start <laughs> uh, does it equal the bedroom please. <laughs> We cardio need, workout we need to burn off some calories <laughs> actually you don't burn off that many calories when you're having sex like if you think like yo you why do you know that <laughs> no no <laughs> like it was funny it was a topic where like having sex or whatever versus chopping logs i think chopping logs actually burns more uh, calories you burn, a burn lot more, more sex more. yeah you burn almost more said burn more <laughs> sex burn logs, more calories more while sex. chopping wood <laughs> Physical tree woods chunks. I was about to say, like, which kind of wood we chop? <laughs> yeah. I know somebody in this group here, we're going to have to say something. So, physical nature wood trees uh, to chop you burn more calories than actually having sex. Because you, I, I don't know the average number, it depends on how long you can last. Not like this guy. He burns me like two calories because he'd be done in like 30 seconds. <laughs> you don't know, okay? No, you once you're done, ain't you know. yeah. I mean, if you can go for longer than two minutes, you're just pretty much an Olympian right there. All those like going on for 30 minutes. Like, that's a bullshit. Like, from what I've been told, it's like, dude, a minute, I'm already fucking done. Like, like for me to go on further ahead, I have to like keep my pace, like try to get my heart keep on going. <laughs> Think about dead puppies. <laughs> <laughs> like actually, a little tricky told me is like if you want your dick to be erect for a long time, a trick is to keep your heart rate going, like to keep on like pumping as fast as it can. Because as soon as you start relaxing, well, your, your dick's just gonna get smaller and she won't get impressed. So you want to keep on going. Well, you better be doing something that like, gets your heart rate up. <laughs> push up, <laughs> push up. <laughs> like Mister Harry Styles, he's like, oh, hold on a minute, get this back up. Oh, <laughs> Dude, okay, let me circulate a little bit. <laughs> mountain climbers, while <laughs> doggy style. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna to do burpees and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby, just lay down, spread your legs. I'll be there in a second. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 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 like, well, bring back the athletic part of Zach. I just remember, like, what if, like, she kept, like, a little cadence going on? I was like, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three, two. <laughs> you gotta do, like, half strokes, and then on the two, you gotta bang in the back. What? One, two. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, like, hey, strange kinks, right? Yeah, strange kinks. That's another my thought process now. It's like, what am I going to put for, like, the headline for this? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, burpees in bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. I mean, well, what I've seen other people do is, like, if they have multiple topics, they're not afraid to, like, go ahead and just, like, add it to the title so they know what's... But we're just doing, board, like, one right? catchphrase real fast. Oh, one catchphrase? Like, like, like on burpees in bed. Yeah. Burpees in bed. <laughs> like, 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 the first one we talked about, we didn't have much really going on in that first episode, so that's what we talk about. If we have nothing to talk about, we'll talk. But the topic label will be something relating to the actual topics. Like the first one was talking about the vacations and fears. It was a vacation and fears. Now the second one, it was hit it and quit it. And if you were here and w- or listen to the p- podcast, you understand why it was called hit it. We and actually quit. got it to work on Podomatic, which <laughs> yeah. did not work too well. I want to go off Fooligans here and say um, I don't mind if personally I don't mind a fit girl. If even with the abs, I mean, I would be challenged first off to be like, all right, I, I want to get with you. Does she have a five pack? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> well, this, this is a story about that. The five pack was uh, when I went to a Catholic school, I used to play for the basketball team. This is fourth, fifth grade, sixth grade, whatever. We went to one of the schools and they had like, the uh, Jesus hung him from a cross being crucified in the gym. And we looked at, and the artist decides to give Jesus. A five pack, four on top of one big fat one at the bottom. <laughs> I was like, Jesus got a five pack. Okay, that's how he gets fit. I mean, he was working it out before they crucified him. Yeah, yeah right? he's like, I gotta work it. I gotta look good. <laughs> so, so, back with so back to what I was saying is, um, it would be okay. It would be fine with me to have a fit girl, even one with like phys- physically better looking than me. It would just challenge me more. I mean, you have to, like, give a description because we don't have a camera, Okay, right? a six-pack, um, you know, act, like, well-defined body tone. Oh, so, like, body co- tone. completely toned. Like, yeah, like, completely toned. Like, like she bodybuilding? Yeah, no, 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 not, not bodybuilding. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying there's some girls out there that just like to get it. Tone. Tone. Tone, yeah. And, it's their, and I'm like, ah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's not awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it would be it would be cool with me because I need somebody to help me work out. So, I'd be like, all right, here. That's something we could do together. You help me work out kind of stuff. I'll bench press you. Get on top of you. <laughs> yeah, right? I was about to say, no, that's her doing the head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how strong she is. I don't think that'll happen unless she's a bodybuilder. I don't know. I feel like uh, my self esteem would have gone down the drain if she starts, like, lifting more than I do. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. just, I mean, like, turn around. Like, it, it would be, be so challenge. demoral. I'd be like, oh, my God, I, I can't be a man. Yeah, I know. It would be a challenge, and that's what I'm saying is I would, I would, I would try to rise to that. But what I was trying to get to is – if she's more fit than me, I think I could deal with it. If now, if she has a more dominating personality and tries to fit, like, oh, try to insert, assert herself yeah. over me, that thing, that's when I would start getting a little pissed and yeah. be like, all right, look, no, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> That's just no, not happening. You're well, not. I mean, <laughs> if she's asserting herself in the first place, and you to get like, let's say you're together with her like for a while now, mm-hmm. she, how the fuck would you get away from that? Like, she's a dominatrix, and you've been together for a while. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never said anything about that. I don't know. know. Misty. Like, like <laughs> I missed you. From a dominatrix. <laughs> I just say Oklahoma is my safe word. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying is like, physically wise, if she's fit, that's fine. But if she's trying to like be the man, kind of feel right, a, Make right a man out of you. Well, no, I mean <laughs> if she pushes me to to get in shape, I, I would actually appreciate that. But I'm oh, saying yeah. like if something comes up and I'm like, well, here I'll be nice and give you the choice. She's like, yeah, you better give me the choice. I'll be like, bitch. <laughs> That's you know, not, like domestic abuse. So maybe you not abuse. <laughs> <laughs> um, Again, that was my hand. Okay, let's uh, let's, get back, <laughs> let's get back on topic. Um, so. Are there any uh, Japanese bodybuilder girls? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I prefer them to have boobs, not pecs. Like that's. <laughs> I really don't think. Honestly, this is just my opinion. I don't think most bodybuilders that are girls have like husbands or boyfriends because they don't. To me, I'm like you. Definitely are not attractive. Like they might think like, oh, I'm super attractive because I'm so muscular and stuff. Funny you but I'm say like, that. You're not attractive. Funny you so say muscular. that. When I went to the uh, my Marine Corps uh, gym, I I met this one chick. Like she was like completely like what you're talking about like bodybuilder like her back was defined her front is defined like everything about her was defined and she's like lifting like 150 and I'll, i'm impressed and next you know we end up talking because like what? she was asking me if i was like a new marine yeah and like well, afterwards recent, we yeah. switched up to her <laughs> and i end up finding out that oh, okay. she's actually married you watch her too to a yeah. husband uh, i, I watched her so funny so you yeah, mentioned yeah. that like wow. like for him to say oh i don't believe they have a boyfriend or a husband he says that I already met somebody who was already Again, married. Again, like, they have to have a type. Yeah. Like it says, true. like you. Fool, like, fool you can't handle a physically fit girl over himself. 
You so for some reasons, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> judging. I just nod disapprovingly. That's all. <laughs> well, as no long judgment. as you do that, it's okay. <laughs> no judgment. I just nod disapprovingly. Um, but for me, it's more personality. Physically yeah. wise, it's secondary. But personality yeah, is like, have to mesh. Yeah, like, like with you saying, like saying that bodybuilders don't have uh, an SO at some point in time in their life. There's been I've seen families where both husband and wife are you know bodybuilders or fit trainers and stuff like that, and they have yeah. those kind of capabilities and freaking getting the three year olds to lift weights and stuff like that. Yeah. Stupidly, but besides the point, there is there. They see mommy and daddy doing it and they want to do it too. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> That's not so it's better wrong. than humping yeah. the it's better than humping the mailbox. Uh, so with that being said, I think I think there is a few styles and stuff like that. And there's and there's people out there that's different and stuff like that. Again, so. as I always say, to each their own, and there's no judging. I just nod disapprovingly at Fulian. That's all. Yeah. I'm sorry, like, the whole time you were talking, well, when, as soon as I started on Dominatrix, like, thought just came to my mind. Like, <laughs> Leather, chain, whips, all that no, stuff. No, well, not, not just that, but, like, okay, the discussion of anime just brought up on how oh I, remember my gosh. Seeing, I remember seeing an anime where, like, the girl, like, who is usually the Dominatrix is, like, the quiet, soft-spoken one. As soon as you give her, like, the sexual power... She's got an evil she, grin on her yeah, face. Yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> no, I remember, literally, she had, like, glasses, a sweater, and, like, she looked very conservative. Next thing you know, like, the dude's, like, getting ready for her, and, like, he's just laying in bed. She exits, like, she's wearing a leather corset, like, a, like a fucking, like, what the fuck did they Chill call chain, her? dog collar. Yeah, like a dog collar, and and she's, like, looking, okay, to me, that looks pretty sexy, not gonna lie. The fact when she starts, like, you acting like a little dominatrix. You <laughs> You're telling me, I, I'm, like, the girl who, like, who played a you know who almost tried to kill me, I almost got a boner from that, like, but that's beyond the point. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I mean, she's wearing a sexy nightgown, and she was rocking the body, so what, what the hell was I gonna do? <laughs> like, my primal voice just starts taking over, like... <laughs> Can I help? He starts thinking with his other head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my second head. <laughs> Okay, have we discussed this topic long enough? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I just want to, like, clear the air. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's great. <laughs> any, any points with the Japan culture that we were trying to... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, like, that was, like... You know fun. what I don't get? Because, like, I love Nissan Skylines, G or GTRs, 34s, whatever you want to call them. Because now they're not called Skylines anymore because they're not allowed to use that name. Why? Uh, uh, they just want Nissan wanted to kill it out. Oh. Oh, uh, I want to know how this is going to revolve back to Japanese culture. No, in they, Japan. I know. Just which R thirty fours are only in Japan and Europe countries. They're not allowed in America because of it. Laws, regulations. Yeah, yeah. Laws, regulations. After a certain amount of years, unless you get a title on them that says they are an antique, you have to. Donate them to a junkyard and get a newer car because Japan doesn't tolerate older cars. Yep. That's, oh, okay. That's that's true. Really? Like, yeah. Like after after your car gets like ten thousand miles or like fifty thousand miles, they say pretty much you have to get a new one. And yeah. it says, or ten thousand miles. It was. I, I, can't, I can't remember the exact numbers. I that thought, is super low, and I <laughs> severely <laughs> doubt that. My friend who actually was when I was in school, he was a foreign exchange student from Japan, and him and I became friends, and we still message over Facebook sometimes. And like I was asking him about it because he was like, "Yeah, he's like that's true." Is that like, Taka? Yeah. And yeah, uh, he was like, and I was like, and he was like, yeah, he was like, there's a bunch of like Nissan Skylines in like the local junkyard. There's like hundreds of them just because people have to get rid of them after a certain amount of years. Yeah. And I was like, really? And he was like, and I was like, like, what makes it to where you have to get rid of it? And he was like, it depends on the mileage. It depends on if it was a gas guzzler. It depends on how, when it was made or something that like, they usually allow you to keep newer cars, but he was like, the R34 is made in like, it's like 10 years old now or something like that. Mm, no, the R34s. This should be. I, I honestly. I'm thinking of 32s. My bad. Yeah, 32s are older than that. Yeah, yeah I know. They're about 10 years, and after about 10 years, they want you to get rid of the car. Interesting. Yeah, because I think it was either that or uh, I, I don't know of another suggestion. If you want to tell us, put it in the description below. <laughs> the um, that I also think is another thing is that like if you ha you can have an option to replace the motor, and that's an alternative option of keeping your car. But I'm not for sure on that. Yeah, either. or putting the title on it that said it was an antique. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Then you had to keep it up to code and everything, and they would ch and they check on you way more than they check on a normal. Car. So you would actually you would actually scrutinize yourself for going antique instead yes. of here, where if you go antique, you get less rules. If you go antique, there. They're they're checking on you. They're making sure you're taking care of the car and everything because they're like, you're keeping this car around even though we don't want you to have it anymore. So we're going to make sure you're doing what we want or else we're going to just make you get rid of it. Interesting. Because yeah, I've, I've heard about that too with, the, with that style of culture. Yeah, I think you've told me that before. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, that's the first time I've ever heard of it. And yeah. then, if anything, like, if that's such a huge problem with, like, let's say, a lot of like-minded people, I'm surprised it didn't cause an upstore. Like, well, the thing, the thing about this, oh. that most of Japan culture, even within Tokyo to uh, Kyoto and some of the other locations and stuff like that, from the rural to the city, is that a lot of people don't have means of uh, vehicles. They that's use like, other transportation. Metro show prominent Yeah, they have, everything. like, the bullet train, the vehicle trains, they have uh, buses, Thanks. they have bikes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that also reminds me, speaking of transportation, like, I, okay, speaking of, like, well, in Japan and also like in the Philippines, what I noticed, everything is within a walking distance. Oh, like, yeah. I absolutely love that. Like, I just love how, oh, I feel like hanging out with friends. Where can we go? Let's go, like, hang out in this area yeah. where it's like a convenience store. Like, we can do other things there. Yeah, Here, don't move to like, California. <laughs> California. <laughs> oh, no, everything's no, like, no. oh. That's like an hour that way if you want to get a cheeseburger. Yeah, but here yeah. it's like, oh, friends hang out. All right, let's see. It's like takes 10 minutes to get to this house and then 20 minutes to go to the mall or some shit like that. Why do you want to go to the mall to hang well, out? That's like when you're in middle school. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Like, I, I agree that like in those places, that's what it's like. But since I'm from here, I will say I like it here better because I've gone places like that where everything was in walking distance and I got super bored super fast. Plus, I was like... They don't have as much greenery because everything is so close together. They have mostly buildings. We're here, it's like, yeah, we're going to have to drive 10 minutes, but you get to see woods and you get to see other stuff. Like, you might come, like, see a deer. Uh, to quickly add on to that, uh, what you said about the distance and all that, mm -hmm. also makes it for that journey. You know, you, yeah. you go with their friends, like, hey, let's go, let's go see the movie. And, like, when we went to, to the Alamo. Yeah. And it's like, hey, let's take that trip out there. It's an hour drive. They got Low to see. down county. Yeah. And, and, and just it's just the journeys and the memories you get to make out to uh, to make out to, to that journey. I, I actually appreciate that. So, yeah. so having that in between, not the walking distance, it would be convenient. Yes, because you don't have to worry about having a car and going anywhere. It's just there, a matter of seconds. I mean, some of that. But I mean, like, you know, the journey wise, I imagine you're talking to your friends, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you can still do that when you're walking, like, mm -hmm. your friends. Like, the way I see it, which I understand what you're saying, is that you, if you're with your friends, it's fun no matter what. But the way I see it is that if everything's within walking distance, you're gonna have no like sound privacy. When you get back home, you're still gonna hear the city. You're still gonna hear everything else going on. While here, if you got ten minutes away, you can come back. And if you're actually just trying to chill, you're just quiet, and you can chill a little bit easier, in my opinion. Oh, I guess that's also true. But like, well, you also brought up like, oh, you can see the greenery. Like, that's nice and all. But let's say like, uh, like you, I want you to name me a good scenic location where you just want to have a nice date with a girl. You don't want to buy anything expensive. You don't want to do anything part. crazy. Are you fucking crazy? No, like over by trying like. Oh, I thought you meant the high yeah. school. I was like, no, 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 no. Like the, actual, the <laughs> national parks, the national oh, okay. parks, and everything like that. There's like, trails and picnic areas and, yeah. and crap like that, and you can just literally just fall in water. Chill. Falling water. <laughs> yeah, falling I was water. just say like I remember walking around the area and I remember there being a lot. Muddy here. Way. I remember being a oh. lot muddier, dead leaves everywhere, broken tree trunks. Like well, that's like the. I do, it, depends, it depends on the yeah. girl you're with or with the people you're hanging out with. We're it back really to the whole girl thing. Yeah. <laughs> she's athletic and outdoorsy. Yeah. That's actually really cool. No, it she's depends not. on like it depends on you know. You're going to Forever Twenty One for the rest of your life. <laughs> 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 yeah. no, hey, no. hey! Don't 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 talk. I like H and M. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's where this shirt is from. Oh my gosh! It's oh, very sleek. What it's were you? Nice. <laughs> were you paid to like advertise their shit now? <laughs> We're not wishes. getting sponsored. They if wishes. they want to sponsor, though, we are listening <laughs> for like emails. And JK News, like, like, McDonald's is sponsoring me. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I must say, like, there's, like, successful YouTubers who've been doing this shit for years. Uh, why the hell are you humping your chair, first of all? Like, <laughs> he's excited. not a chair. It's a stoop. Yeah, and it's moving on its own. Like, you just have to move. No, it. you're making it move, but yeah, okay. Like, see? Anyways, uh, yeah, there's, like, successful YouTubers who've done it for years and have millions of subscribers and they don't even get fucking sponsors like from what they talk about hey, yeah. hey, hey we can dream we, we can, can dream, dream. alright everybody I believe it is time to close out the episode from everybody at Fil No Filter Fools thank you for listening this is Fool again signing off everyone else can say their own names because I don't want to well you want me to go first like I just alright this is Tiny Tim saying see ya this is Misty the Penguin this is Art Oscar Mike okay Hey there, ladies and gents. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this podcast, please view our other ones on our channel. Do the whole thing with the mouse and the clicking and the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Also, tell us in the comments below what you want us to talk about here on Ramble Rants and Drives. Thumbs up and keep the channel alive.